coming down. Oh, pretty slick. This sucks. They've risked travel through slot canyons to further their descent down the slopes of a volcano. One little slip, you're done. I'll be picking her brains off the rock, man. I don't think we're going down that. Hell no. Jumping this height into shallow water, you're getting hurt. That's a guarantee. stretches for over 500 miles, seismic activity in the region has carved deep gorges in the steep terrain, which regularly flood from heavy rains. This jungle changes constantly. Rain, no rain, sun, wind, now temperatures drop. To get through stuff like this, what I would suggest you do is figure out what motivates you internally that will keep you going through an environment like this. If you stop and just crawl underneath a tree, chances are they're going to find your dead a week later. Uh, look at this fog. The challenge that Matt and I have right now, we can't even see the other side of this lake. I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and skirt the side for a little ways and at least try to make some headway that way. Might just be getting around the corner and then it's done. Man, this stuff's getting really thick, dude. Traveling alongside the banks is definitely very slow going. Man. I think we gotta go up and around. There is no better over there. Matt, let's just stop. This is turning into a train wreck. We are falling into the biggest trap people navigate all the time, and we're following terrain. We should be going that. That's not terrain, that's water. I understand, but we've been going right, 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 right this whole time. Now we're at a point where the direction we're supposed to be going is that way. Say we cross right here and just keep moving in that direction, because if we keep walking along here, we're almost 90 degrees off course. Honestly, I don't think it's a great idea, because we make the swim, we're going to be wet, we're going to be cold. We are putting ourselves at a risk for hypothermia, but we're also going to shorten our route. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. We just drop straight off, don't it? The minute Matt and I get in this water, it's taking our breath away. Don't think just because we're in the tropics that this water is warm, because it's not. Good. But now we're at altitude, the wind's blown, and we're soaking wet. So if we don't get fired tonight, that is a recipe for, for hypothermia. We're heading southwest, getting back on course, and hopefully dropping altitude. So was the risk worth the reward? Yeah, Joe is right again on that. Check it out, looks like a pretty heavy use game drill right there. I think you're right. Hey Matt, look at this. On many Caribbean islands, the locals dug pitfall traps along game trails to capture invasive feral pigs for food. Yeah, I've got some pretty heavy tracks right here. They're really fresh. Oh yeah, that's real fresh. Definitely been feeding in this area. Dude, I want to throw an idea out there to you. Why don't we shelter early Try to get a fire going and hunt. I'm totally down for that. We've been out here and haven't gotten much protein at all. The ideal thing about this shelter design mostly is its location. It's opened up to the sun so we can try some things out and just soak up that beautiful vitamin D. I've got to clear out this area anyway, so I thought I'd grab a few little flowers, make a nice little bouquet. This is not a romantic moment. This is just two guys in the woods appreciating beauty. Hey, hey, want me to start layering the roof? That'd be awesome. All right. Oh, it looks great. Plus, we're covered overhead, so when the rains come, we're totally sheltered, and we're raised off the ground. So any creepy crawlies that move under there, we're protected from those as well. So why don't you let me finish this up? Why don't you look for some tinder, maybe get some fire material? Sounds like a plan. Hey, Matt, I got a really good idea for getting some meat. Why don't we head up the hill here and take those pig pits and put them back into action? What do you mean, back in action? What we could do is make just a punchy pit, cover them up, bait the trail, and just lure them in, and just do all of them in that whole area. Come back down here, chill out, fire and forget it. I mean, if, if you want to hunt that way and you want feel like you can monitor it, well, I'm not going to stop you, but the thought of an animal just falling randomly into spikes, where I know that they could just sit there suffering. Is it brutal? Yes. Is it effective? Effective. I saw some really nice sticks down there that would make good atlatl darts. You want to make an atlatl and then go hunt. Yeah. Well, I don't need to hold your hand. Go hunt. And I'm just going to stoke the fire a little bit, then I'm going to head All out right. as well. 
We both want meat, we both want to hunt. There's no stopping us, you know, and Joe's got his approach that he wants to do and I have my approach that, I, that I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna go ahead our separate ways and see what happens. What I'm gonna do is just line the bottom with the sticks, then I'm just gonna cover the top of it with a lot of ferns, kind of like these, and just some real thin twigs. So if a pig comes along and it goes, Matt's gonna be out hunting with his atlatl, and he's very good with it, but I've got 20 atlatl darts at the bottom of these pits. So the next thing I need to do is just lay very thin twigs all the way across. Then I'm gonna take some of these ferns and just lay it on the top and just camouflage it. So This is amazing for Joe and I. Wow, this is gonna be great for us. Oh man, take a look through there. Oh boy. That's dropping off pretty quick. I mean, it just went boom. It's a proper slot canyon. Slot canyons, you never know how far they go. It could end in a big waterfall like our last one. Right. Or it could go all the way through and it might open up. But I think it's worth investigating a little bit farther. All right, let's check it out. Why don't I go ahead and go first? Just stay up here if I need your help up. Roger. If we just jump down there foolishly, both of us, and we can't get back out, that means we're gonna be stuck in a big section of slot canyon, and we're, we're dead. And that's making sure that we can get out the other end, because where we're at right now, that's about all we can do. Canyon, probably the craziest one I've ever been in. Really? Lo and behold, there's a waterfall. Another one. Wow. Hold on, let's think about this for a minute. There's no climbing out of here, man. I'm trying to find a way that we can just get up and around, but that, that's not going to happen. You can see it already opens up right there. You jump from this height into shallow water, you're getting hurt for sure. That's a guarantee. We're going to have to be really careful. Could still be a stick sticking up, John. Oh, I'm trying to hit right where the water is starting to foam up, because that's probably the deepest spot. We got down from a high point, now we're lower. That's the reward. We made the jump, and the best part is now we're on the canyon bottom, and it's starting to open up. So this might be our ticket out of here. Matt, this is the first bamboo we've seen since we've been here. Yeah. And I see some coconut trees, too. Vegetation's definitely changing right here, man. That's a good sign. Hey, Joe. You hear that? Surf or wind? Oh, that's, that's surf. definitely surf. Yeah. There's definitely coastline. You can see that body of water ahead. Just cross your fingers. It's not steep cliffs like on the other side of the island. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Not much of a beach, but it's a yeah. beach. Matt and I have been looking for this beach for a long time, and we're still not at the finish line. But the bottom line is, we've got to stay in the fight. And the fight's not over for Matt and I. Matt, there's 
There's a boat right there! Hey! Hey! Woo! Come here! Hey, he sees us. Dude, he's coming in. Think we're good? Yeah, he's coming in. Take a walk, take a watch, baby. Take a walk, take a walk, baby.